rounds. I looked down in that bullpen, nobody's warming up. So that's how much confidence they had in Kelly today that he was going to settle in. Their team was going to rally. They were going to win 13 to 12 or 11 to 10. You know, that's what they're thinking. When you're as good as they are, that, that's how you win. But, you know, t today was only their 10th loss on the entire season. They got Lamson down there, his ERA, 39 hits in 70 innings. Are you kidding me? You call it baseball? Um, they, 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 even though we had that big inning, there was some confidence that they were going to be, be in there. We just avoided giving up the big end. They had some runners and we avoided that. But you know, Sam was good today. As, as I said, um, you know, he might have not been really sharp with his slider and his curveball, but his fastball was pretty good. He was getting his change up in there. And when they did get some runners on, we made a couple of plays and we, we stayed out of allowing that big end. So it was a heck of a win for us. We were you a little worried at all when you kind of sat on 10 for a while, thinking well, they're going to find a way to keep back Well, in. yeah. I mean, we, you know, I kept saying, that, you know, let's get some more. Let's answer back because they got a couple. Let's answer it. Good teams answer. Finally, we did answer with the with the home run when they got the two spot. Uh, but yeah, they're they're an outstanding team. It's hard to it's hard to think that there are that many better teams than them in the country, and they were number one for a long time. I don't think it helps that you not only won, but you won with some sanity with your pitching. You really didn't have to use all that many guys. Well, we, we really didn't. You know, we got a chance uh, on Thursday, maybe regardless of who we play, because we do have some guys in the bullpen. And I think Blake Cooper will be available. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll make a good decision on that. I'm not going to rush him out there if he's not. But he threw 65, 67 pitches uh, on, uh, what day was that, Sunday, that, that lasted till Monday. <laughs> but anyway, um, he'll, he'll be okay. Our pitch in the lineup pretty good. But could you see that right off the start, that Dyson, Dyson was pretty sharp out there today? Yeah, I thought his fastball was good. That's the way I measure Sam. When he goes out there in the first inning, if he's you know, in the low 90s, he's, he's going to be pretty good most of the time. In, in, the, in the Super Regionals, he wasn't able to do that. He didn't last very long. But uh, he, he had a little better stuff today. His fastball was alive a little bit, and that made some difference. He hit some, he hit some guys on the fist today in that lineup, some very good hitters. He jammed some good guys. You know, Jackie just looks comfortable. When you talk about your players bringing it, you know, your top players in the limelight games like this, and he looks very comfortable. Well, Jackie, Jackie has a lot of confidence. He's very humble, uh, but he, he respects the game. He knows how to play it. Jackie looks good when he's over for four. It, you know, it's hard for players to do that, but he he's he's built to play this game. He hopefully will stay healthy, get to play it for a long time. How do you handle it mentally? You don't want to even have the discussion of going two and out because to come and be gone so quickly. I mean, how, how is there a sense of relief for you, like, well, to just keep going that well, fast? Yeah, the because you you know you get to the College World Series. There's eight teams left, and you're happy about that. But you don't you, you don't want to go zero and two. You want to stay for a while and. You know, really today, I tried to stay away from that. I just told our guys a lot of pressure on Arizona State. They're a great club. There's a lot of pressure on them. They lost the first game. They, they want to try to survive here. I didn't talk about us too much. We talked more about them. In the terms, when you say you respect the game, what does that mean when baseball players have respect the game? You understand that there's highs and lows. It's a game of failure. There's adversity. It's going to happen. You, you can be two for two with, with two three-run homers, and then yeah. your team loses 15 to 14, and you leave four runners on base late in the game. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a very humbling game, and there's a lot of guys that, it, that really ki kills them. I've heard, I've heard guys in the big leagues say that there's a lot of guys that can play in the big leagues, but they can't handle the failure. Yeah. And, and, you know, we got some guys that are good at that. And Jack is as good as there is. I mean, like I just said, he, you know, he looks good going over for four. He, he respects the game. It's hard to do. I, I, you know, I played it, and I didn't handle it real well. I, I, it ate me. It eats a lot of guys up. And, um, and, and the really good players, they can take it day in and day out. Well, after saying that this could be an option for Jack, I mean, you probably head to Vegas with the well, he's he's easy to to say good things about because he's gonna he's gonna have some good days. He may have a bad day or two, but he's gonna have more good days than bad days. Is he our system? Yeah, he really is. He's I, when I went to see him I, before he came to South Carolina, he played on a, an outstanding AAU team. Melville was a first rounder. They had four or five scholarship guys. He kind of flew under the radar on that team. But he, he led off and he was playing center field, so he didn't fly under the radar for me. Um, and so I, I, I loved him from day one. He's, a, he's a, the consummate team guy, team first guy, and, and, and he's a good player. Do you think he can be a role model for other African-American kids? I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't think there's any question about it. The way he plays, the way he handles himself on and off the field, takes care of his academics, there's no doubt in my mind. He's, He's the epitome of what a student ath athlete should be about and a great role model. Coach, so what does it say about Jackie to do what he's doing at a stage like this? Well, he, he's he's one of those guys. Um, I, I think as I was coming in to back Coach Esme, 
I made a comment that you know the, the, the better players show up in situations like this, and and he's one of those guys. You know, he he's he's going to be successful more often than not. And he has been that way since we've had him. You talk about Wingo's at bat. How big that was? Huge, that huge, huge. You know, Wingo's you know started had a great start to the season. He scuffled at the end. He has trouble hitting the ball to the other side of the field. He's worked extremely hard. He's tireless. He's he's hit the cage long after practice is over. Uh, but he just has had trouble using the other side of the field. And when he hit that double in the corner, scored two runs, you feel pretty good at that point. You said uh, Jackie and Morales already had a plan for the pitcher. Can you share that with us? Oh, they, was, I, 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 <laughs> they didn't know I was coming in. I opened the door, and they were right in the middle of uh, setting up the rotation for Thursday. <laughs> yeah. so, and they got quiet. I said, go ahead. You know, so, yeah. so they were giving me they were giving me their input. But I, you know, it went from Brown to Webb to Cooper back to, back to Brown. So, And then, then Morales said, that's why you get paid the big bucks. You make that decision. But, but uh, you know, we're, we're getting to play, and we'll run somebody out there. Are you even going to be able to keep winning quiet? Enough? Probably not. But, probably not. He, he's not quite very often. <laughs> so what was, the, what was the best thing you liked about Jackie that first time you saw him? Honestly, poise, composure. It's 100 degrees. He's the first one on the field, the first one off. I mean, you have to have ability. You know, when you're out recruiting, you're evaluating. Yeah, you guys are you want talented players, but you want characters too. You want guys that have great character and respect the game and play it the right way. And and he showed me that. He showed me that right away. Um, Coach Lee was my assistant at the time, and he it was in, in Atlanta. And, and there's I don't know how many games a day down there in that world wood bat. And he says you got to go see Bradley. I go see Bradley, and I call him. He's at another site, and I go what What's the deal here? And he said, Well, you know, he's available. I said, Well, we need to get him. And uh, we, we got him on campus as quick as we could, and we locked him up. Y'all do a lot of situation Thanks, where hitting Thanks. yesterday at practice. It seemed to really play. Can you just talk about that stuff? Well, that's all we did really yesterday. We didn't take too many free swings. We just talked about, you know, driving in runners, two out hits, you know, trying to score a guy. And, uh, you know, you don't know if it makes any difference or not, but you have to try to prepare. Coach, Jackie Bradley is leading the team, you know, tied for the team, leading all the triple crown categories. What does that say about him And after his start to the season on the bench? Are you, are well, you kind of surprised by that? Well, that's that's the thing. You know, based on his season, the ham ache, you know, and, and he was out for a little bit, and then he gets stitches in his hand, and he comes back to to be in that position. is really incredible. I mean, it's, it's one thing when you're hurt and you come back, but when you come back, you're not 100%. You, you miss him at bats. It's not easy to get back in there. So. What he's done is, is very impressive to me. And he never made an excuse. He never says, I'm not 100%. He either played or he didn't play. And when he played, he gave it his best shot. So I'm, I'm very fortunate to be a coach to have a guy like Jackie Bradley.